السلام علیکم دس از یور کمپیوٹر سائنس ٹیچر صرف آباد اختر انصاری آئی ہیو کریٹیڈ انادر ورژن آف مائی پریویس سوڈو کوڈ دس از کالڈ ورژن ٹو رائٹ سو ان دس ورژن دیر از نو میجر ڈفرینس اف یو لک تھرو اٹ لائک دا فرسٹ پیج ریمینس دا سیم وچ از دا ڈکلیریشن اینڈ دا انیشلائزیشن سو دس ریمینس سیم look it is same there is no major difference task one is same which is uh, just for the displaying the menu here you will see the difference in the task two okay this page is the same there is no difference in this portion of the code here you can see the difference in task two day one and day two are combined so in this sudo code i combined day one and day two so look at here that if you say that if day one and ticket is equals to one then it will take the input from the user and then store in the uh, uh, variable cost it will multiply 20 with the number uh, with the number of added as if day two and ticket one then it will again take the input and then store the cost <coughs> after the multiplication of the day to cost which is 30 and it will be multiplied with the number of adult here first condition is true so we just switch it off using the end if now in the next portion of code you can see here if day one and ticket is two then it will take the user input and then we have applied here validation check so if number of adult greater than one then it will repeat the entire loop which is print only adult is allowed and then it will take the uh, user input which is the number of adult and this will this loop will execute until it reaches to the uh, less than two means which is one because only one adult is allowed after that it will calculate the cost of an adult <coughs> uh, of the one day then it will take the user input in the form of enter number of children then after that it will uh, apply validation check the same validation check that we did in the first version of the sudo code so it will validate the number of children and then i use a repeat loop to repeat the entire process of this validation that it will display that um, uh, display a message that up to two children are allowed then it will ask again to input the number of children until it reaches children less than three means that only up to two children are allowed one children and two children are allowed then uh, the condition closes and then i calculate the cost of the child by multiplying the number of child into 12 which is the one day cost <coughs> now after that i calculate uh, using the if state else if statement that else if day equals to 2 and ticket choice equals to 2 so day 2 and ticket choice 2 then it will take the user input enter the number of header and the entire validation process will be repeated here so if you look through it you will see the difference that I have combined day 1 and day 2 uh, instantly with the uh, validation checks and if and uh, look at you can uh, look at here that if day one and choice three then it will calculate the same thing there's these are the same formulas so if you look at here that if day equals to one and ticket twice three that will repeat the same process this is the same process that we did in the first version of the pseudo code there is nothing different the codes are same the only thing that is changed uh, this is just the combination of day and day one and day two only so you can say day one and the day two day one and day two are combined this is only the major change in the pseudo code but rest of the formulas are the same so there is nothing uh, worry to about uh, nothing worry about it okay now if day one and ticket four that will ask the user input and then validation check will be applied here so the same code is there only difference is that i combine day one and day two so if you look through it uh, study it then you will see it <coughs> the rest of the code remains same 
सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यू डेट यू फॉलो माई वर्जन वन और यू फॉलो माई वर्जन टू देर इज अनदर वर्जन दैट आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर विद यू इज द वर्जन थ्री सो आई हैव डिजाइन थ्री वर्जन वाई बिकॉज इफ द स्टूडेंट फील दैट वर्जन टू इज ईजी फॉर दैम दैन दे मे फॉलो वर्जन टू इफ द स्टूडेंट फील्स दैट वर्जन थ्री इज ईजी फॉर दैम दैन दे दे कैन फॉलो वर्जन थ्री एंड इफ एनी वन फील्स दैट वर्जन वन इज ईजी फॉर दैम सो दे मे फॉलो वर्जन वन सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यू दैट यू फॉलो वर्जन वन वर्जन टू और वर्जन थ्री बट ऑल वर्जन आर डूइंग द सेम प्रोसेस सेम डाटा प्रोसेसिंग सो यू डोंट वरी दैट दिस थिंग इज मिसिंग इन वर्जन टू और वर्जन थ्री नथिंग इज मिसिंग ऑल वर्जन आर कम्प्लीटेड बट द अरेंजमेंट हैज़ बिन डन स्पेसिफिकली ओके नाउ आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर यू वर्जन नंबर थ्री ओके दिस इज अ वर्जन नंबर थ्री टेट आई मैंशन हेयर ऑलरेडी दे इज नो डिफरेंस एस यू कैन सी हेयर इन द डिक्लेशन and the initialization is the same so there is no difference here same things are uh, remain same like the previous versions the only change here i did here is this day 2 task 2 first of all task 2 day 1 and day 2 combined using case statement in this solution i use case statement now for the day 1 i select case day case 1 there i select case ticket choice then case 1 means ticket 1 so it will take the user input and then uh, store the cost after the calculation and i and uh, the case statement over here there are two case statements so that's why there are two and select now for the day 2 i select case day now the case is 2 and the case ticket is 1 the same thing has been repeated but only difference is that here i put the 30 which is the day 2 cost and i close the case statement using and select there are two case i used so that's why two and select are being applied here in the same way <coughs> for the uh, ticket number 2 for the day 1 i select case day case 1 and the ticket number 2 okay as you can see here same things have been repeated here same validation check there is no difference the only difference is that i applied case statement over here so validation check for the adult and the children is the same after that i close the case statement using and select okay now for the ticket number 2 and the day 2 so i have used the select case day case 2 and the ticket number is 2 so the same validation check for the adult and the child is being applied here that we applied already in version 1 and version 2 then after the calculation i close this case statement so for the same ticket 3 ticket 4 and ticket 5 i use the same case statement if you look through and study the pseudo code then you will better understand that what is happening in the pseudo code so it is a recommendation to take the scenario in front of you and then uh, study the pseudo code so i hope you understood it but if you still uh, confused then you may contact me you may um, uh, ask questions on the youtube or my facebook so i will definitely inshallah reply you as soon as possible so the rest of the things are same here okay so i am about to upload the, these two versions if you feel easy uh, then study it if you feel that version 2 is easy then you may go for it and if you feel version 1 is easy then you may select version 1 for your choice so i have uploaded three versions so whatever you feel version is feasible for you you may go through and study it now today's class is over thank you so much allah hafiz